November 11th, we rightly remember and honor those who died in the cause of freedom in the wars of the 20th century and beyond. We live in such a remarkable country of peace and freedom that it is hard to believe, very hard to believe, that war once visited this land, but it did. It is important to remember that the defense of our home and native land took place right here at Old Fort Erie. We must always remember that in the War of 1812, this fort became Canada's bloodiest battlefield. Over 3,000 troops were killed and wounded in the siege of 1814, a siege that would also see the fort's near total destruction. Yet the fort survived, even in ruins, to become the terminus of the Underground Railway for slaves escaping to freedom in Canada. Over time, lieutenant governors like Brock, literary giants like Mark Twain, and the Prince of Wales, later King Edward VII, came here out of remembrance and respect.